Hey, hey, what's up everyone? RCA4 here. Like always, thanks for watching. Well, my friends, back here with the RC Excavator. Talk a little bit about it again. I know some of y'all are like, come on, man. Move on to something else. Yeah, you know, man, come on. It's really cool. But this is actually a request. I had one of my viewers comment on one of my recent videos asking, how does the excavator get its power today want to know how does the rams work and stuff and could you upgrade the stuff on the vehicle so i thought about that that would be a good video to talk about because all the videos i've seen really never gone into detail of how this vehicle works now since this is not a hydraulic vehicle it's a motor driven one that's how it gets its power and behind the, how it gets it is these things called servo actuators. Now, basically, this is just a regular size servo, as you can see. Of course, the little tabs has been cut off. Now, this is uh, a set that I picked up off of uh, eBay for about 50 bucks for these. But uh, what it does is act like a, uh, like a servo winch. So the motor inside the servo here continuously goes around. Now, it is then you have this uh, shaft that's attached to the servo and so when you spin out or go forward it starts coming out like this right here and it's got this threaded like shaft you can see that so it goes in and out so take a look in there if you can that's a threaded shaft kind of like a you know kind of like your dry shafts on your crawler or on your vehicle basically male female in And this slides right in. So that's how it gets its power. And it's very, very strong. As you can see, like there's kind of like a worm type gear. If I can try to uh, get the camera to focus. So that is how the excavator works, is how it gets its digging power. Now, these servo actuators are very super strong. Now, one of the other questions they ask is since it is a servo actuator, or servo driven, could you replace the servo with a more high end one like a Savox or uh, Three Brothers or a Reese? And I probably want to say yes, you can upgrade them since I mean it is a regular servo, but you would have to convert your Reef or your uh, Savox servos to make them continuously uh, spin around, or you can just get a servo winch and do that. Uh, there are plenty of videos on YouTube that show you how to convert a uh, ready control servo into a continuously rotating servo there. So uh, you can definitely do that or you can just go online and you can find these servo actuators uh, pretty cheap. I got a three pack for about 50 bucks uh, and it had different sizes, it had small, medium and large. And I was going to use that for the uh, 116th scale excavator before I ended up finding this sucker right here. So, but uh, hopefully that helps you on knowing how the excavator works with these servo actuators. So, that is how it is powered, my friends. So, uh, hopefully this video helped you out uh, to know the fact that it runs off of servos. Now, there are two actual servo actuators. You got one here on the arm and then one down here that controls the bucket. Now, there another one is inside of the casing here. Now, that one is not like a servo servo. It's kind of more like a servo transmission. And basically, the way that thing is, is it's kind of like an adjustable wrench, all right? Well, inside it has about like the same little uh, gear thing here. So as it turns, it lifts it up the boom. These are not actual, these were right here. Like, as heavy, especially on my right shoulder there. Now, these right here are not actual server actuators. These are just plastic ones. Uh, it can just kind of let you know all that. But the actual gear is down in there, all right? So that servo transmission there, and when you lift up something, it's just going like this. It's just rotating. It's kind of like a worm gear, like on a uh, night crawler there, a Lucy night crawler. Same ordeal. So 
Now, I want to also talk about the electronics in the vehicle. Now, this has a all-in-one ESC receiver, uh, pretty, you know, generic, generic uh, hobby grade slash toy grade electronics. But this has the new V4 motherboard, which is really cool because on this motherboard, everything can be pulled apart. It has little, uh, I think they're called three, I think they're XC30 plugs. I'm not exactly sure, don't hold me on that. Uh, but they have the small white plugs that plug into the motherboard of the vehicle. And uh, so it makes it easy that if you need to change out that motherboard because it got wet or it burned up, it's very easy to change that. Now, with that being an all-in-one ESC, you have to get a new controller. So the controller and the ESC itself is about roughly about $45. Not a bad price there. Now, could you go in here and upgrade it to Hobby Grade Electronics? I'm not exactly sure, but I'm sure you could do it. Uh, it just take a little bit of modifications. I've been kind of studying up on this kind of stuff on if I wanted to make one of my uh, toy grade ones uh, hobby grade, what would I need? Basically, you would need two ESCs, one to control each track. Uh, then you'll need, you know, of course, another servo, and your servos for the arms, the lift and all, and uh, a receiver that you can mix uh, the channels and stuff. I've been, like I said, I've been watching a lot of videos on that, but... Anyway, I wanted to show y'all how the excavator digs and how it gets its power. So it's by these servo actuators. All right. So hopefully this video helped you. If it did, smash that thumbs like button. Comment down below if you got anything you want to say. Maybe something I messed up and you want to correct me. Hey, I'm all for that. You know, I love having people, uh, you know, telling me that you, you might have, you know, in your video, you missed something. Uh, you might want to say this next time. I always like to have the feedback, all right? Uh, but don't be too negative on me, all right? <laughs> I try my best. I tried to explain it the best I possibly could. So uh, hopefully I did all right. So let me know down there in the comments box or you know, hit that thumbs like button, all right? And also, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Help my channel grow, you know? Uh, Every time, I always say, every time you subscribe to the channel, you're not just subscribing to my channel, you're supporting me, you're supporting what I do, and I thank you for that, all right? So, again, thank you for watching, and I will see y'all later.